Hey guys. How's the sound? You guys let me know if you can hear me. Hey, she loves your uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Thanks for that comment. Let's see if I can get this game set up. Let's see here. Alright, perfect. Let's see here. go to the online tournament we're gonna try this predator tournament in Oro bestie see how it goes hey she loves Zira yes I'm gonna start streaming more often I did another one on Friday I think I'm just trying to get around it because I'm not really I haven't really streamed before so I'm just trying to figure out the best time to do it and all that So I'm going to do this peg all the way to the right, and then uh, take a little walk. Well, my controller just died, I just got to plug it in. Thanks, she loves Zira. I appreciate that. Um, I'm just trying to work out when the best times to stream would be. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty fun to play this game, and I figured um, the channel's been getting a lot of uh, love lately, so I figured we would go and start streaming as well. So hopefully, it could be a good time. People hanging out, doing a bit of fishing. Now I'm just heading over this bridge and gonna do this peg. I probably should have started on the other peg, but uh, all right, this is where I am. Let's check out the equipment. Yeah, so I'm, I got 50 pound line. Gonna try smelts to start with and then some top water fishing. Probably start with uh, this one here yeah perfect all right let's see how we do here we'll get it started going just under this bridge and then see how we'll do let's 
So I'm casting two smelts, dead baits, and then I'm gonna do a bit of uh, top water fishing. Maybe I'll try some pro shots or swim baits. We'll see. I haven't really. I think I played this lake probably twice before. I do have it on the DLC, but. Uh, But I haven't really played it much, so we'll see how we do here. I had a bit of luck. I got got a couple of 40-pound uh, pike here, so we'll see if uh, they're biting now. Uh, favorite map? Mm, I probably like some like Lake Boulder or Lake Miller. They have lots of different species and uh, they're they're pretty fun. It's probably the two that I've fished the most. What about you? She loves zero. What's your favorite map? What's your favorite type of fishing? Oh, looks like we got something. Nice. That's a good size. See how long it takes us to bring this in, because This is a decent sized pike we got here, so I'm excited to see what we got. Oh, and looks like we got another one on the line. Hopefully, we won't lose that one before we bring this one in, but this one's a really good size, so. Oh man, look at that, all our lines are moving. So we're definitely gonna lose one of those because uh, these pike take a little bit of time. Take, um... Nice, uh, Laguna Ikitos, eh? I I haven't played that one much, but I'm definitely going to get the, the DLC probably tomorrow and start making some videos on that. This week is my plan. Yeah, I haven't caught that name fish in Guntersville yet, but uh, he's pretty awesome. Um, let me know if you catch them, because that would be, that would be super awesome. I definitely, yeah, that, that's a cool bass, I've heard about it, but I haven't caught him yet. I've been trying to go for Porthos lately in Lake Boulder there, but, uh, no luck. Okay, we lost one of the fish we had there on the line. I just heard the line snap, but I mean, there's nothing we can do. I don't want to. I don't want to let go of this fish because this is really nice, decent size. So, and he's finally coming in. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's decent size. Forty-three pounds, personal bass, sixty-one inches. That's awesome. We need a couple more like that for sure. And uh, oh. I'm gonna get this one first. I don't know which line was activated first, but I'm gonna get the further one. Because I assume he's bigger because he took the line out further. But what you can also do is uh, I might just bring him in closer and just kind of take a look at the size visually and then go to that second line. Is it catfish? Oh yeah, this is a nice catfish. He shouldn't take that long to bring in. Uh, and I don't usually do this, but I'm going to take a quick look at what we got in this line. Just out of curiosity, see which one's bigger. But 
I might lose that other fish, so. I don't know if I recommend doing this. And yet, yes, I have caught. I have caught uh, that fish. Uh, his name is Curiosity. I got a video on it. So definitely check him out. Um, yeah, his name is Curiosity there in Waldy. Predator tutorials? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for predators, yeah, I haven't done a sp predator specific tutorial. Oh, a ziff. That's terrible. That's terrible. I just snapped the line. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that really sucks, guys. I'm so sorry, but uh, I just lost two big monster fish. Uh, <laughs> All right, perfect. We'll just uh, try again. That happens, I guess. But that, yeah, that really sucks that that happened. But hopefully uh, we can catch up. But uh, yeah, no, Predator tutorials for sure. I just find that fighting Predator is pretty pretty similar to fighting Bass. It's a bit easier actually, except for obviously I just lost two Predators in a row. That really sucks. But anyway, so that's what I was saying, that it's just so much better to focus on one line. Just because it's better to focus on bringing one fish in than to lose two fish, like what I just did there. Which really sucks, because we probably needed those. But yeah, uh, no, yeah, for sure, I can look into doing that. Was there, was there a particular lake that you wanted to do predators on? I have a lot of predator videos, like just general areas where you can fish them. I have a video on, um, I think it's called spotting for trout. I think it's in Lake Miller, where I just go around looking for a good trouting spot. And then I end up catching a bunch of um, trouts using uh, worms. Uh, that video is not very popular. It hasn't been watched a lot, but um, it, I just talk about how I went about finding trout specifically. It's one of my earlier videos, and then other than that, I got some uh, locations in Lake Boulder. I got two locations there, but he, but yeah, I could definitely look into that for sure. That's why I thought I would do this online tournament actually, just because I don't have as many predator videos in the game. Hopefully, I won't lose this one. He's a decent size too, though, so I'm pretty happy with him. And we're already on the board. Looks like we're 35. Um, so let's see if we can get top 10. I, it's pretty hard to get play some top 3 in this game. It's usually the same people. And I don't know. They must know some really good spots. Because I was looking at the carp tournament. And someone caught 1,200 pounds of carp. And I have no idea how they did that. But... Uh, yeah, I'll be happy if we get in top 10 or top 20, top top 15 even. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, that Curiosity fish is awesome. I, I definitely want to get the Laguna Ikitos just so I can get the big Arapaima there. and th That looks pretty fun, so I'm going to probably get that this week. There's some big fish in... Uh, forget the name, but it's in Thailand, I think. Wave berry or something like that. I don't think this guy's as big as the one we got originally. But he's really cool looking. Look at those spots. 37 pounds, 54 inches. Nice. Very nice. Alright, I'm going to take the time to maybe move these. I'm going to try just to the left here by the shore. Is here. 
And then nice. Okay, right on time. Oh, looks like we got another catfish. Maybe he's that same guy I lost earlier. I definitely had way too much tension on the line for him. Oh yeah, Paolo? Um, I haven't actually played the catch yet, man, but uh, I've heard some people have been disappointed with it. I'm not sure. I don't have an opinion on that just because I haven't played it. But uh, I'm glad that uh, they're still updating this game for sure because it's probably my favorite fishing game, obviously, right now. Um, but yeah, no, that sucks, man, that uh, the catch, that you're disappointed in them. That, that sucks. Favorite uh, bass bait? I really like top water lure. I really like the um, the buzz bait, the black plague. It's one of my favorites for sure. Um, I also, I when I started first playing the game, I I used to love the rattle trap crawfish. I also like the yum. I think it's a yum crawfish. It's the plastic creature. I like that one a lot. Uh, but yeah, but lately I've been doing a lot of top water so let's look at this guy Wells catfish 48 inches nice it's a good catch so I'm gonna go back to this side seems like we're having better luck on this side And I'm actually going to recast this other line here just because I have a feeling they're biting more over here on the right. So we'll try that for a couple of minutes and we'll go back to top water lures. But yeah, I also really like the frogs, like the Arbogast. I think that's what they're called. But um, there's like a leopard frog and an albino frog. And uh, yeah, lately I've been just using a lot more top water lures. I like them because you don't have to wait for them to sink. And uh, you can look for where fish are, are jumping. Oh yeah, Paolo Cesar. Um, that's, um, yeah, no, that sucks. I mean, what what is it that you don't like about it? Let me know a bit more about it because, you know, I've been thinking of maybe getting it just to make some more content. That'd be kind of cool. I am looking forward to Bass Master 2022. Uh, I'll definitely probably get that one. Hopefully. But yeah, let me let me know your thoughts. Um, I haven't gotten around to getting it yet, but uh, I would rather probably get just some more of the DLC I don't have for this game. Nice, perfect strike. Let's see what we got. Another nice size fish here. Okay, so we got She Loves Zira likes uh, likes the catch. I guess that you only have, uh, is it just carp and predators on that one? I heard the mechanics for fishing were a bit different. Are they, do you like them better than Fishing Sim World or like the fishing itself? Let's see if I can tighten the line on this guy a bit. Okay, a lot of bugs. Similar mechanics. All right. Right on, yeah. Like, no, like, I've been meaning to try it. It's just, uh... You know, like I said, I'd rather maybe spend my money on on uh, expanding my 
the legs I have for this this game right now. And uh, but yeah, I definitely would. Maybe I know a lot of games are on sale on Steam. Maybe I'll check out check it out if it's on sale. Just because I mean it, it would it would be really cool to try it out. It'd be cool to get a demo to try it out or a free weekend or something like that. But I know, like, I've, I've seen in the forums and everything that people definitely don't like it as much as this game. But again, I'm, I'm looking forward to the other game that's coming out in the fall. I'll probably get that one. I'll wait a bit and then probably get it. Alright, let's bring this guy in. He's not as big as what we've been getting. But that's still really nice. I'll take it. And I thought we had something on the line. I guess it got snapped, though. I wonder what tension my lines are at. Oh, that's fine. 35. That's fine. Alright. Let's try this one here. Oh, yeah. No, it's not good if they stop updating the game, uh... After it launches, it's never. Oh no, poor strike. It sucks. He's big too. Let's try to keep my rod up here. But yeah, that's not good that um, they're not um, updating a game. That's not good if they don't support it, right? But maybe they're pro I mean, they're releasing another game, right? So it's just maybe too much at once. But yeah, I think I think I'll probably just get more DLC for this game, just because. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. Probably gonna start streaming more. Maybe I'll get a Facebook group going so I can contact the subscribers more. Maybe like share some photos of the catches. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe even play play online with you guys too, if possible. But I just gotta find the time to just get some streams going. Probably try to do a couple a week. But yeah, no, that's not good. Like, if they're not supporting it, it's going to be tough for people to want to play it, right? But I know that they're still supporting this one. So that's always good. Um. And this top water lure that I'm using is, is also one that I've, I've, I've been liking a lot for, for predators. And you, you can catch big bass with this one, too. With the head-on knockers, top water lures. All right, some pretty, pretty big pike here, man, and Jesse Orobesti. I dig it. I'm liking this map. This bridge is uh. Doing pretty good for me right now. We're still 26th place. About 40 minutes to go. Alright, come on fish. Wondered if it'd be better to put a put on a carp rail. Probably. On this. Maybe I need to change my setup for this. But I mean I do have a my carp tournament rail on the other rods and it seems to take about the same amount of time to bring them in, so. Yeah, the boss fish for predators, uh Paolo. Is pretty, pretty tough. Um, I definitely only in Grand Union. That's this is a nice fish. Look at that belly. Wow. Okay, so right now I'm gonna just. I should have caught something with these, so I'm gonna just re. Recast them. Try to go with as right as I can under that bridge. Oh, it's pretty much in the rocks. Hey Masaka, welcome back, man. 
And we got Gunner0788 as well. Thanks for joining the stream. But uh, yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that it's tough to find those trophy fish. Because uh, last stream I was actually looking for Porthos there. Musaka, he actually caught Porthos. And um, we were trying the same spot that uh, he caught him in. But uh, unfortunately, didn't have any luck. But yeah, like I said, it's in Grand Union Central where I've caught the most... Uh... Oh, what the heck was that? Where I've caught the most uh, trophy pike. Alright, we moved up to 21st place. That my second line seems to be moving, but that's weird. I guess it's the current. Because there's, there's nothing actually on the line. There's a big pike swimming there after it, though. You guys see that on the on the left of the line? There's a big silhouette there. But yeah, I'll see about starting a maybe a Facebook group, and then uh, it might be cool to just share some information there. Maybe some pictures of the catches. I just, I don't use Facebook very much, uh, to be honest. Alright, here we go, we got something. Hopefully I won't lose this one. And he's another decent sized pike. Look at that collar, man. Purple, purple. Yeah, the trophy pike here, I would imagine, is just similar to the trophy carp, where it's just pretty easy to to find trophy carp. You just kind of have to get lucky on the peg you're at. So I assume it's the same for the for a lake like this for the pike. Don't want to test the line too much. Uh, if you guys are just joining us, I did lose two massive fish. I was trying to go between lines. And I was trying to pay attention to the chat. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. It's <laughs> kind of paying attention to the chat and not paying attention to my line. And I cranked it up a bit too hard and I ended up losing two fish. But yeah, no, a Facebook group I think would be kind of cool. I'll maybe set up set that up tonight or this week i think this week i'm gonna get the the peru dlc as well and make some videos on that so yeah we got some cool some more content coming up for sure all right let's do let's take a look at the catch summary guys so yeah we got some nice ones man we got a a trophy 61 nothing named though but the smelt and the uh, the perch has been uh, extremely extremely good here. All right, so I'm gonna go to the spot. It's working well. So I am not gonna change my spot where I am right now because this one's working well. And I won't change this lure either, because, I mean... <laughs> yeah, Gunner, for sure, man. <laughs> it's, uh, like, I don't have two monitors uh, set up right now. And um, 
I'm using Streamlabs and it does have a, an option to do the overlay, which I, I have enabled right now, but for some reason it's not working. So I'm using my phone to look at the chat right now and it's just the whole thing. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully I can get two monitors set up eventually, but, or get the overlay working. I think maybe it's cause I'm on full screen and I think they want you to do windowed full screen. But I, I gotta look into it cause I did get it working before. So, all right, we got something else with the smelt. Let's take a look at what it is. Yeah, the bone, the bone color. Yeah, yeah, I have that one as well. I don't. I use the perch one and the gold one the most, but and I, I think I have the, the bone. I have another one, but yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try it out here as well. See, see how that one turns out. All right, let's see what we got here. Wonder if we can get another catfish. That was kind of cool. I like getting catfish too. And they're a decent size. You get a decent length, length out of them too. All right, we're moved up to 17th place. Would love to get on the top 10 for this. That would be awesome. And yeah, we got another catfish. Look at that guy. He's a decent size, man. Nice. Nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what he looks like. Oh, we got another fish on the line. I'm not going to switch between the, them, though. I learned my lesson. I'm just going to bring this guy in first. Hopefully, I'm not missing something. It's always stressful when you have too many fish on the lines. <laughs> you don't want to wanna get them both, right? could probably test this catfish a bit. He doesn't seem to be... Testing the line at, at 40, so. Oh, there we go. He might, I find catfish aren't as bad. Yeah, he's coming in now, which is sweet. Bossing the best, the beast. I just got an achievement, guys, on Steam. I don't know if you can see that. 74 pounds, 61 inches. That's a beauty right there. That's beautiful. All right, let's catch the other smelt. Normally, I would probably cast out that again. But I don't want to risk losing this one, so I'm just going to... Oh, saw something pretty interesting jump up. It's interesting that this one's testing the line so so much at, at 35 man we got something interesting here because uh it's actually taking out the line guys 70 yards 72 yards 80 yards i wonder what we got here maybe this is uh, a trophy fish could be a trophy fish He's not taking the line out anymore. But uh, it was really interesting that uh, he did take the line out because the other fish have not been doing that. So maybe this could be a, tr a trophy fish. Might just be a, a regular trophy or it could be a... Oh. Okay, I brought him into about 48 yards. Is he taking it out again or is he letting me bring him in? Let's see. No, he's letting me bring him in. That's good. Really wish I had that other line actually on it. I probably should have cast it out, but I didn't want to risk it. So we will see. Oh, 
Okay, he doesn't actually look that big. Well, I mean, he's big, obviously, but... Uh, he looks about the same size as the biggest one I caught so far. But it is interesting he took out the line, so I'm looking forward to seeing this guy. Take it one more time, I think. <laughs> yeah, right on, man. That's awesome that you're out in the UK, uh, man. Um, thanks for uh, sticking around before bedtime. Ah, uh, but yeah, no, I, I gotta see what we have here. This is gonna... Okay, he's finally coming in. Okay. No, it's just a regular old northern pike. But he was taking my line out. But uh, not even the biggest one we caught today. But still a beautiful specimen, man. So yeah, too bad it wasn't anything too exciting, but... Uh... Here we are in 12th place now. Hopefully we can move that up. See a fish jumping over there. So we're going to cast right on the rock. Oh, and something pretty big just popped up on my right side. So... Let's uh, see here. Oh man, this is just this lake, man. I'm telling you, so many big pike here. Look, there's a gigantic shadow. So is that? A, I think that's a catfish, though. I think that's a catfish. All right, I'm gonna cast over here just because I saw there's something big swimming there so oh I think I went way too oh he's coming after it let's see if he bites do a bit of stop and go Hey, got arrow 788. Thanks, man. I appreciate the the follow. I appreciate the subscription there, and I appreciate you sticking around for a bit here. And yeah, man, I, I look forward to to your content. You you let me know when when you get some content going, and uh, I'll check it out for sure. Oh, there he is. He's big. Is that a carp too? Is there a carp in this lake? Looks looks like a carp. He's not liking this uh, lure, so I'm gonna do one more cast with this lure, and then I'll switch it out. See, maybe I'll try that head-on knocker knocker that that Paolo was uh, suggesting. If I have it, I think I have plenty of money too to buy it probably. Oh, there's another cat right there. He's not too big, though. All right, guys. Let's um, switch this out. Is this one? Oh, no. This is a foxy shad. So this is the spook bone. Let's try it out, man. Let's see if they'll go for this right now. And boom, nice man. 
got lured work right away, so that was a good choice. Yeah, this guy's, I think that's the guy we, we've seen swimming, swimming around, so decent, decent catch. Hopefully we'll get something, uh, not right now, but in about two minutes we'll get something on the smelt. Okay, we got Jacob Smith uh, from Oregon. Awesome. Watch what I play every day. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm glad, man. I, I wonder if anyone else is playing right now because that's what it's all about. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you coming to hang out, Jacob. That's cool. I've never been to uh, Oregon. So that's pretty cool. You guys probably have some, some good fishing out there, too. It's, that's the west coast of the United States, I imagine. Uh, and Paolo, yeah, I do like uh, fishing with swim baits. Maybe we could try it. We got 20 minutes left. We, we could try one. It's just that I am trying to place in the top 10 of this tournament. So I just sticking with what works right now. But, uh, but yeah, sometimes I like trolling with the swim baits. And uh, you definitely catch some nice fish. But uh, it's just that I generally... If you're doing a tournament and you only have so much time to fish, I generally like topwater lures just because you don't have to wait for them to sink. And um, But swim baits, if you get a big one, they usually sink pretty fast too. But, but no, I, I do like using them and maybe, maybe I'll give one of them a shot. See if we get lucky. And here he comes. Let's take a look, guys. Cool, he's got... That pinkish hue around the gills. 38 pounds, not the biggest of the night, but that, I'll take it. I will take it. Alright, this, because we haven't caught anything with our smelts. Gonna time to take the time to just reposition them, guys. So, just take a second here. Go closer to the bridge if I can. Yeah, I find that with the swim baits, you do have to be more patient. Like, I actually use them for bass fishing sometimes. Just to try to draw out the bigger bass. But you definitely have to be more patient. Like, you won't get as many uh, catches or, or bites. So, But when you do, it's usually something bigger. But sometimes you get something small, too. Uh, Alright. So, let's see. We'll try this. Uh, we'll try this one. One more time. Alright, and uh, let's see, Jacob, so what kind of fishing do you do out there in Oregon? And yeah, Musaka, I do have the gold swim bait. Maybe you guys want me to try that? I could try that right now. Just to see how that would work. Maybe I'll work myself. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it out. Why not? Just so you guys see. We can all see if it works. I haven't really ever tried it on this lake, so. So there's the swim bait gold. And then there's the... Yeah, so we'll try that one. It's a trophy hunter. So I tell you what. We're, we're going to try it all around the lake. I've, I'm placed... Number 10 now. 18 minutes to go, so could we get a top 5? Maybe. Alright, so as you can see, that's sinking to the bottom. Probably let it sink to 15 and then start slowly bringing it in. And then maybe go to 2 speed. 2, 3 speed. And then I'm going to try this for about maybe 
three to five minutes and then I'm gonna go back to the top water fishing just cause yeah uh, bass and trout nice man that that's cool I mostly do uh, trout myself where I'm at let's try this uh, in front of this island Let that sink. Maybe I'll do two more casts. I'll try three speed this time. You could also do stop and go with these, right? So maybe I'll try just do a three constant and then I'll try a stop and go. Oh, but never mind because we caught something with the smelt. Hopefully it's a ginormous fish. And he doesn't is it a catfish? I think it's a catfish. No, it's not a catfish. It's just a smaller pike. I've gotten used to getting some pretty big ones, so it's definitely a bit smaller, that's alright. We need him. I'll take him. I don't know if I can beat the ninth and eighth spot though. 622 inches, that's quite a bit to get in 15 minutes. Oh, I've never, I don't think I've ever tried. Oh, like, yeah, you can twitch the, the shads for sure in the. But I don't know about the fake fish. That's interesting because I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, the line that has the swim bait actually caught something but I mean I wasn't there to strike it because obviously I'm fighting this fish but but I mean we did catch something with that one technically uh, but uh, unfortunately we are now gonna see what it was but yeah I guess that the things like the pro shad are technically uh, swim baits. I just think of them more as like a plastic, plastic bait, I guess. Okay, he's not bad. Thirty-eight inches. Then I'll recast over here. We'll go close to the rocks. Yeah, why not? We'll try that. And then let's bring this guy back we did have something on it we'll never know what it was though guys Okay, I said I was gonna do a three with this, so I'm gonna recast, do a three. And I guess I'm not, because we caught another one with the smelt. Hopefully, oh, this is a little guy, but I'll take him. I will take him just because I'm running out of time. Sometimes when you're doing these tournaments and you're like, for example, if I'm bass fishing, I just, and it's something little, I just let it go until I catch something bigger, right? But, um, because there's only 13 minutes left and every, every inch of length is going to count for this. And yeah, he came in pretty fast anyway, but yeah, he's a little guy, little 24 incher, not bad. All right.
We'll go back to against the rocks. And then I saw some bubbles. So I'm going to put the second one right here. Saw some bubbles there. And then I'm going to lower that tension, actually. And then uh, let's just go back to this. Gonna go this way, I guess. Just saw a jump. And then we'll do a three. And then I think we'll, we will try to stop and go, but... Try faster speed, see. See if it does anything. And all right, this is the last time. Oh, that's a terrible cast. All right, I'll try this one more time and we'll do a stop and go. And then I'm gonna switch back to the top lower. Oh, there, there's a fish swimming around the our, our second line there. So that's interesting. I was about to take a drink there. <laughs> My hand was not on the controller. I'm glad it, we got a good strike though. Let's see what we got guys. This is um, the swim bait, the gold swim bait that comes with the trophy hunter pack, the DLC. So maybe we get a trophy fish. Maybe we don't. He's a nice size though. I can see him now. He's starting to pop up. And uh, he might just bring us to ninth place, which is going to be awesome. My goal was to get on the top 10, which technically already happened. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty awesome. Okay, awesome. Nice, we got another one on the line there. Yeah, Masaka, I use the, I use the controller just because uh, I hurt my hand. I play guitar. I, I play a lot of guitar. I hurt my hand, and um, yeah, unfortunately, when I when I game using the mouse, it kind of hurts my hand. So I find it's just a lot better to use the the, the controller. So I try to just use that just because of my hand, but. Alright, let's bring this guy in. Nice. He's cool looking. 
and 55 inches with the swim bait gold and let's just head over and grab this smelt see what we got here I would love to catch a name fish that would be sweet let's see this guy's taking out the line yeah where are you guys from I'm from uh, I'm, I live in Canada man What about you, Paolo? Where are you from? Oh my god, guys, 126 yards out. This is, uh, I hope this is, uh, not a disappointment like the last one that took the line out. But yeah, that, that's that's awesome. All right, let's see if we can start bringing them in. Oh, cool, Paolo Cesar. That's cool. I've actually been to the Amazon. You live in, in the big city. Cool. That's cool, man. You probably uh, do some really cool fishing in Brazil. Actually, when I went to... Brazil. I went to Colombia, Peru, and Brazil, and I had uh, we actually went fishing for piranha, and I caught a piranha, and we ended up eating piranha. It was kind of weird. Uh, like it was uh, it wasn't bad. It was like a white fish. Oh, I didn't eat the one I caught. The ones we were catching were pretty little, but there were some big ones that we had at a restaurant later on. Oh, he's not even, doesn't even look that big. But he took the line out, man. Like, he took it far. But hopefully I get in... We're in ninth place now, guys. Hopefully we get in front of Simulator Daz. And uh, Leeds. Top 10, not bad. These guys, Simulator Daz and Leeds. Leeds UTD fan. Um... These guys are always uh, in the top of the leaderboard in these games. So. Alright, get in here. I really want to get that second line. 39 pounds. Sorry I didn't stay for long on that fish, but I just only got 4 minutes left. Alright guys, top 5. Awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Fifth, fifth spot. This is probably one of the highest I've ever ranked in an online tournament. Want to start doing some of these more, but uh, we'll see if I can bring this guy in. Hopefully, before the tournament ends. Yeah, tilapia is good, man. I like tilapia. I live in the North Atlantic. So we get the best cod and the best uh, salmon. And the trout is amazing too. I love eating trout. This is a good size too. This fish I got on the line. I don't think he's the biggest either, but...
All right, three minutes left, guys. Three minutes left. Okay, we were able to bring him in. 43 inches, nice. 30 pounds. I guess we got two minutes left. Oh, I'm gonna just switch to this guy. And then just do this guy quick. Maybe, maybe we get a little one. Hey, Musaka, no, I actually, I thought about equipping the G-Braid for sure. I probably should have done that, actually. Uh, but this setup, I have the 50-pound line. But, yeah, I probably should have equipped my, my G-Braid. For sure. But I'm pretty happy with, we almost made the podium, guys. We were close to making the podium. I don't think it's going to happen, though. Just considering there's only a minute left. It's too bad because I did lose two fish. So if I hadn't lost the two fish. Oh man, and like imagine bringing this in in one minute. I mean, it's impossible, guys. It can't be done. I mean, I'm not going to be... Oh, that sucks. Fourth place. So close to top three, man. But look at that, Matt. Second place got 850 inches. That's crazy. I wonder how much the top place has. Probably 900. All right, guys. I'm going to just risk it with this guy. Really. Probably snap the line, though. Uh, that sucks. I wish we could have brought this guy in. Wish we could have brought this guy in. But that's life. That's it. Boom. And we're done. I should have done a catch summary. Um, but yeah. There you go. Fourth place. With uh, 708 inches and 22 inches. And that is the tournament, guys. I'm gonna just go in to see. I wanna, I want, I wonder what the top guy has. Yeah, like, I find that the line, for me, the line does have an impact. You need bigger line to catch bigger fish, usually, but, I mean, you can have 20-pound line and catch up, you know, a 40, a 40-pound 40 pike or something like that, but then it's going to be a lot tougher fighting them. But I find that the line also makes a difference if you're going for smaller fish, like if you're trying to find the smaller crappie and things like that and okay so the top guy has 856 dang we needed we needed probably two more fish which sucks because i lost two fish but but hey no that i'm pretty happy with this result pretty pretty happy with it guys that's that's pretty cool so so anyway yeah i think I got a bit of time, uh, so maybe we'll go back out and look for Porthos again. Uh, just because I've been trying to catch him for the past little bit. 
and it would be super cool if we got him on a live stream. Yeah, I find that I love the fluorocarbon line for bass fishing. But yeah, no, you definitely it's it's definitely good to try out uh, different lines. I since cuz I started playing this game on Xbox and I got I got ranked, like I leveled up pretty high, and I had a lot of different equipment, so, but anyway, right now I don't have that much equipment, like that many different light lines, but alright, so we're going to Lake Boulder, and uh, we're going to try Sunrise, Light Clouds again. Predator, and then we're gonna take a look for Porthos for a bit, and then I probably have to go. But thanks for everyone who's here, still hanging out, checking out the stream. Pretty fun. Appreciate the support. If you guys, some of you guys aren't following the channel, I'd appreciate your sub. Uh, that would be cool. It'd be cool to get to up to 2,000 subscribers. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, or there's also like if you're fishing for carp, what is the place? I think it's Grand Central. Because I usually like fishing for carp with a number two hook and big fat line, but uh, it does make a difference in, for example, Grand Central. The carp there are smaller, so if you want a higher bite rate, you're gonna wanna have a lighter line and probably a smaller hook. But yeah, just like what Masaka, just like what Masaka saying, like if you're going for smaller fish, you definitely want a smaller line. Also, there's there's a bait, there's a lure in the game. Let's see if I can find it here. Just to give you guys an example, I think it's a swim bait. But yeah, see this shockwave fish list just. And it says, uh, this bait catches suspended fish better than almost anything else. Best used on a lighter line. So I don't know if different lures might use work differently on different lines. Uh, it's just so many variants to try it out. But uh, definitely, you know, experiment, right? It never hurts to experiment. Let's see what's going on in the chat, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I don't like... Like, I usually go try to go for bass. No more than 20 pounds. Alright, so... I'm going to stick with the 40-pound line probably here. And then uh, let's see here. We will get. Let's just try a bunch of head on ones. And we'll try that new one, the spook bone I got. Hey, Masaka, are you talking about uh, Porthos? A higher line for Porthos? Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I mean, why not? Let's get the 50 pound line on it. Oh, I don't even know why I got this one on. I think I want this one or this one. Yeah, these are both really good. I'll just keep this set up like this. Hey, yeah, Jacob, I appreciate it, man. Um, it's always fun playing this game. 
I, uh, I enjoy making the videos and, and sometimes it takes hours to find some of those good spots, man, for, uh, sometimes it takes me a long time. I w also, you know, it's sometimes you just get stuck and it's hard to get anything, but, um, yeah, no, when you find a good spot, if I find a good spot, I usually try to fish it you know, at least three to four times, and if, if I'm getting a lot of action on it, that's when I determine, all right, this is probably a good hot spot, but it might not work for everyone, right? Hey, Jacob Smith, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, Musaka, I'm looking forward to, to that fight. Let's hope it happens. Uh, I've never had to chase a fish with the with the troll motor so hopefully I'll be ready to do that but man this is thick line man like look at that you can just see it visually oh. yeah I think we have 11 people watching right now which is pretty cool <laughs> I think my first live stream I had one person watching. Second live stream I think we got up to eight. All right, let's see here. This is uh, a game of patience looking for this fish. Hey, Paolo, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, sometimes when I'm looking for spots, I, I think the same way, right? I just think, like, what would be what would be a good spot, you know, where the fish are maybe hiding or, or where there's cover or where they would be, be feeding, right? And depending on the, the conditions and everything. But I mean, where I am, I mostly fish for trout and, and really, I just use uh, spinners and, and worms and I just, if you find a good spot, you're going to catch a lot of trout with that setup. Okay, there's something fairly big swimming down there, but I don't think that's Porthos. I th uh. Yeah, I've never really done any night fishing before. I'm sure that that's that's pretty cool. I, I, I you know, I would love to fish for for catfish or carp. That's something I've never done. Like for some of the big catfish in in Ontario, I I think I caught a catfish once, but he wasn't very big. All right, we got something. He looks like a northern pike. And I guess I could just let him go, just so we keep looking for Porthos, but that might be boring. It might, that might be boring. It might be... I think it might be better to just see what kind of fish we're catching, too. Hey, yeah, she love when I finally catch Porthos, that's going to be a celebration for sure. <laughs> Musaka is the veteran here that caught Porthos before. Uh, I found the spot looking looking at the at, the, at his forum post. He wrote, and then uh, my last live stream, he was in here, luckily, and um, he was showing me where to cast. And and I think we did see him. I think I think we did see him, but we couldn't catch him, and I, I had to go. So I think it's a game of patience. So there you go, Northern Pike, 41 inches. Not bad. 
I love using top water lures here, guys, because you can really see, see it. you'll see them swimming around. I'll do a three. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen any head pop up. There's a bit of uh, activity here in the water. It could be bass though. What I just saw there. Where do you cast She loves Zero? You mean you mean for Porthos? Just right here west of the Derby boat ramp. Line up the boat with this rock here, and then aim at this shoreline here. Yeah, we definitely saw him spawn last time, eh, uh, Musaka, when you were here? I, I'm pretty sure that must have been him, because you just see this gigantic shadow. And what Musaka was saying was that um, it's a gigantic shadow, but when you do actually bring him in, he's actually smaller. There's something there. I think that's Gar, though. All right, we're going to... Move down our lure. We'll try this gold lure here. Oh. There's something popping its head up there, but that's a gar. That was a gar. That's no. That wasn't a, po a, a, a musky. He's a musky. Was that him? Oh, you're saying that was him, eh? Alright. I will cast over there then. I thought that that looked like a long nose gar to me, but, but uh, yeah, no. I'll. Bring this in and all right. Let's see. The head popped up over here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that 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 definitely did look look like him. Okay, perfect. Thanks for clarifying that. What do you mean about the angle, man? Like you mean um. Like I I usually like aiming down. Well, that's mostly for bass fishing, I guess, but. That I do that just because the bass jump and and sometimes it throws off your timing if you don't have enough room to to snag the fish to set the hook. Oh, there's something there. He's little though. That's not him. Time is it? All right, yeah, I can do that. Perfect. All right, let's. We'll do two more with this one, and then we'll switch it over. Oh, there's the guard popping up.
Oh, okay, I see what you mean by the angle from the actual rock. If you're in front of rock, he doesn't seem to show up. Yeah, okay. Last time, I, I think I was pretty much casting where I'm casting right now. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Maybe he'll show up for us, guys. And we'll try to catch him. Looks like we're looking for Porthos again. But yeah, that was really fun doing that online tournament in just Yoro Bestie. Lots of really big pike there. You just haul them one or one after the other. And we caught a, two catfish that were really cool. Cool, decent sized catfish. That was super cool. Yeah, guys, I, I definitely got to get into the catch. I, I should probably get it and maybe make some content for it. But uh, I've just been focused on this game. and But yeah, my, my next goal is just to get the Peru DLC. I wonder if it's on sale on Steam. Yeah, I'll check that out. The catch, I mean. Oh. Something there. The big dog lures, uh, Musaka. No, I don't. What are those in a DLC, or do they come with the with the game? Uh, oh, damn it! Uh, we got a good strike. Sorry, that's not Porthos though. We'll bring him in anyway. He'll show. Up. I find he shows up a few minutes into it, so. Is that, are the big dog lures in the, um, I think there's a DLC called the big, big lure pack or something like that. Okay, yeah, no, I, I don't think I have them because I only have the trophy hunter uh, DLC and then I have some lures that came with the ultimate edition, like the Jenkolistic and some Tremor Shads and things like that, I think, but. But no, like, how are they, man? The Because, yeah, I'm definitely planning on getting more DLCs, more lures, just to try it out, make some videos for the people to see, to see if uh, they're good. And Yeah, big lure pack. Yeah, I was looking at that. I might get that. Like I said, everything's on sale right now on Steam, so might as well take the opportunity. Yeah, I bet, I bet, I bet the Bass Pro pack, that, that looks pretty cool too, for sure. Yeah, I do too. I, I prefer top water for sure. All right, let's take a look at this guy. He's a trophy. 24 pounds. All right, let's try the perch. Yeah, I would love to hear if anyone caught Marshall because uh, that's another one that I would love to catch. You know, I still got a few minutes. Maybe what I'll do is I'll go to Lake Guntersville. And he likes red lures. Yeah, you know what? I've been looking for Porthos for some time now. I think maybe we'll go to Guntersville and see if we can catch him. Uh, and then, I mean, I'm going to keep trying for Porthos, guys. Ne next live stream, I'll also do Porthos.
All right, so Guntersville. I guess I'll do dynamic weather. What? When did you catch him? Musaka, do you remember the time of day? Morning. All right, we'll go morning. And we'll see. We'll go to uh, Pullcat Hollow. Sometimes I'm near the bridge. I think that I have to go here so I can access the bridge because I think it's closed off on the other peg anyway we'll we'll give this a shot if not I can always just change the peg I guess Peg? All right, we'll we'll go right to the far right peg. I've never I've never looked for Marshall before. It's the first. Okay, the bridge is to the right, eh? Is this the bridge you mean? Yeah. It's funny because I guess there's a 20 second delay. Yeah, thanks Masaka. This is, this is awesome. I hope we, we get him. We all get this guy. You let me know if this is the right spot. I'm just waiting for the stream to catch up with you guys. We're about 20 seconds apart. All right, and uh, let's see here. All right, we got 20 pound fluorocarbon. Red lures, he says. You know, uh, let's see here. Left, left of the bridge where the rocks are sticking out. All right. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get him. Nice, did you, were you, have you been able to catch them with top water lures? Or just sinking lures? And she lo loves Zira, you let me know if you catch them, alright?
Alright, we got something. I don't think he's Marshall, but... That's alright. Um, I got the two and a half inch rattle trap on. You, you think it's, it's better with the three and a half? Nice. Keep forgetting to let I'm so used to topwater fishing, I keep forgetting to wait for the thing to sink a bit. We'll try speed of three. Okay, right on man. Yeah, I've caught some I've caught some gigantic I, I caught sixteen pounders with this rattle trap I'm using right now, the two and a half inch. And then uh, when I've switched to the bigger ones, I've actually caught um, catfish, like channel catfish with them. We'll do a really slow, constant reel, see what happens. Boom, all right, we got a hit. Let's see what we got here. Just waiting for him to come close. Hard to see him right now. Yeah, I don't think that's Marshall either. Oh, I just had a bit of lag, that's weird. Well, I'm gonna bring in every everything I catch though, just so we can see what we're getting. Oh yeah, red cranks. Yeah, I'll I can try those. Just want to do a, a few more casts with this one. Yeah, I find that as well that the smaller rattle trap gets more bites for sure. Yeah, when I have them, I'll definitely know, right? I hope I don't snap the line, that'd be embarrassing. Alright, I know I said I'd bring everything in, but oh, I got so little, I um, don't want to look at them. Yeah, that's sad when that happens. I agree, Paolo. Hey, Musaka. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, if if you want to, um, just shoot me an an email. Shoot.
shoot me an email. Uh, my email is uh, right in the channel. It's it's Peregrino. It's Peregrino, like like my name there. P E R E G R I N O company at Gmail. Dot com. You can find it. You can find my email. If you guys want to shoot me a message anytime, go for it. It's in the about in the channel there. But uh, but but yeah, just shoot me an email and then we'll figure something out. But yeah, it can be frustrating to lose fish for sure. I could have gotten really actually pissed off <laughs> at the two I lost earlier in that tournament. Guys, but uh, I mean, it happens, right? It's a game. You're supposed to have fun, so. What do we got here? A decent size right here it's definitely not Marshall but um, bring him in and see take a look at him okay yeah that's that's a good looking one man gold oh I didn't mean to click it's a small mouth bass though you could barely see the stripes on that one though all right let's try um I'll try that booyah crank, but uh, I'm just gonna try what I the setup I brought with me first. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, that that that's something I was thinking of doing too. Um, I've never really played online with anyone else, but but if you guys wanna are down to do um, to all go fishing and then we'll do a stream on it, I'm completely down for that. Just check my email. My email is in the about on the channel. It's Peregrino, P-E-R-E-G-R-I-N-O, company at gmail.com. Just send me an email, and if I get a few emails there, we'll we'll set it up. And Musaka is pretty experienced on the on this stream here, so he knows a lot of good spots for fish. So it'd be cool to get out and go look for some boss fish. Oh, that sucks! Poor strike. Oh, sorry, buddy. I don't have, uh, she loves Zira. I don't have, um, PS4, man. I almost bought a PS4 Pro, but I ended up not, uh, oh, look, we got a Gar. But I ended up not, uh, I'm gonna bring him in just to look at him. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on the, just give me a second here. I'm gonna check something out. Just give me a second guys, I'm gonna... Just gonna... I think that Just give you me might... a second guys, I'm gonna... Because you're on your phone, you might not be able to see it. So let me just see here. All right, guys, there. I just had to go out because I don't have the two monitors and the overlay wasn't working. But yeah, so I'm playing on Steam there. And um, 
yeah, it sucks that I don't think there's crossplay in this game, obviously, but because um, that would be awesome to get more subs. But either way, you guys are welcome to come hang out on the stream. And uh, and it'd be cool to do some fishing with you guys for sure and uh, stream it. All right, I'll get back in the game now. Oh, forgot I had a fish on the line. <laughs> All right, you guys want to see this guy? Let's pull him in. I play standalone. No, not Steam. Yeah, I know. I, actually, it sucks because I used to play on a, on the Xbox a lot, but um, it just I don't have a lot of time. Like I was playing mostly Red Dead Redemption and this game a lot, but I just don't have a lot of time for all the other games, and I didn't want to pay for the subscription if I wasn't using it. But uh, but no, but yeah, so back to what I was saying is just uh, shoot me an email, guys. I'm playing on Steam right now. But maybe, you know, if, as the channel grows, maybe I'll get that Xbox again. It's just kind of weird to have both of them. But yeah, it'd be cool if they had crossplay with like every platform for sure. Yeah, you can also just contact me through Steam as well, right? Um, my handle is just Peregrino. And um, just let me know who you are, that you're a sub. and Just because, you know. Yeah, I used to actually play a lot of Fishing Planet. I logged almost um, 100 hours on that one, like 90 hours on it or something like that. But it was just so grindy and... Oh, check it out, guys. We got a white crappie. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna do one more cast with this one. Oh, that'd be awesome, man, because I'm definitely going to get that one when they come out with it. Yeah, because it would be definitely cool to have some people chilling on the... Do a game all together, live stream it, and if people can't play because they're on Xbox or PlayStation, then they can always hang out on the stream, they can always play. I'm also... I said earlier, I was thinking of maybe making a Facebook group, just so you can share tips. Some people here have a lot of good tips and maybe photos of your catches or, you know, if you catch a cool boss fish that everyone's looking for or something like that. <laughs> 500 hours. <laughs> Yeah, man, I like I just found myself just grinding a lot just to get money to be able to upgrade the equipment and eventually something in me just said, oh, I can't do this anymore. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully that's not Marshall. Yeah, it's not Marshall. There's a feisty bass though on the line right now. Oh no! Oh, that sucks. Okay guys, the good thing is that that was definitely not Marshall. The bad thing is that I got impatient and I had a poor strike. Yeah, I didn't really try Russian Fishing 4. I, I downloaded it right at the same time that I discovered this game. So I ended up uh, 
just really just playing this game. That's the thing with free games, right? They're gonna be grindy. But I mean, I, I like this game. I like it's got an arcade feel to it, but it's just fun. I just have a lot of fun playing it, obviously. So. What do I? Oh, okay. I have the rebel. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'm gonna switch to the. To the. The Booyah Crank after this. It should be the same profile pic um, as the channel, man. So it's like the yellow. It says Let's Go Fishing Sim, I think. Yeah, it's, it's got yellow and it's got like the... It's exactly the same as the, as the one on the YouTube channel, man. Yeah, I don't really... I'm, I don't really love the idea of microtransactions. Like, I mean, I get it. You know, if you're playing a free game, it costs money to make the game. You gotta make money somehow. But, but no, I'd, I'd definitely rather pay for a game just like you do for this one. And and heck, even paying a bit of money for extra DLC is all right. Okay, this lure is doing terrible. I'll give it one more shot. Did have a big fish after it, but. This is doing terrible. Okay, so I'll try the crank. Uh, let's just see here. Hey, Musaka, what what bait did you say? Well, you know, maybe I'm gonna use this gold one just because it's a trophy hunter. But booyah. Okay, there we go. The booyah one knocker. This is the one I think he meant. So I guess I'll buy it. I don't have it. Might as well get this one too. The tiger claw. We'll equip this one. Oh yeah, definitely. That game is making a ton of money, man. Yeah, Jacob, it's 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 legal where 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 I'm at, but um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, chilling. I, I don't really do it anymore as much as I used to, but, um, but you know, I used to love going camping, canoeing, doing some fishing, relaxing. And for those of us that have just joined us or don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just looking for a trophy fish named Marshall. He's a bass. I think he's about 17 pounds. So let's just see if we can get him. I'm going to switch out to some top water lures too just to see if we got some activity where we can see a big bass. Oh, okay, I, I didn't even notice I had the super gold on right now, but.
We'll try one more. We'll try faster speed. Okay, this one's not getting much action, so I'm gonna try one more. Oh, boom. There we go. Oh, it's... Thought that was gonna snap my line there. All happened so quick. But yeah, this is not Marshall, but he's a feisty little fella. Bring him in. Hey Paolo, uh, send me send me an email with your Steam info, and I'll 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 look I'll have a look for you. There, I'm not sure where you can't find me. You should be able to. What's uh What's 110 Fahrenheit in centigrade? <laughs> I assume that's pretty hot. Jacob. All right, Paulo, uh, what's your name there? Okay, that's a funny looking bass right there, four pounds. Oh. Oh man, 43 degrees Fahrenheit, oh god. Sorry guys, I was looking at the chat and not paying attention, but that was a terrible cast. 43 degrees, that's, that's hot man, I don't know. I would be hiding in a cold room in a basement. Or maybe not fishing, but like in the lake. <laughs> Swimming in the lake with the fish at that point. Okay guys, give me one second. Someone's calling me. Just give me one second. I'll be right back.
Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry about that. I'm still here. Um, that was just my girlfriend was calling me. And I don't... I had to get that. So anyway, I'm back. Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry about that. I'm still here. Um, don't... All right. Phone's dying. Gotta plug it in. All right, so what were we talking about? 43 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That is, you could probably fry an egg. Oh, yeah, you could definitely fry an egg on the sidewalk with that. All right, so let's try this one, the Rayburn Red. And then I'll go back to the rattle trap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get um, some, um, what do you call it? Yeah, like we'll try a top water lure, see if we can just spot them. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that guys. Maybe I should get a slide that says, be right back, technical difficulties, when something like that happens. Again, guys, I'm not really used to streaming. What is going on? Every time I pull up the line, I get like a funny splash graphic or something. I'm just casting to the side here just to see if I'm going to get that same. Yeah, okay, Musaka, are you talking about the Booyah One Knocker Rayburn Red? Like, I'm okay for wait, because, you know, I'm not playing a tournament right now where I got to be pulling bass after bass after bass, right? I'm just looking for Marshall, so I don't mind, you know, waiting. I don't mind waiting to get him. Yeah, but I, I mean, what I meant was that you could see like four or five or six different splashes in front of me. See that? That's really weird. You know, I'm gonna just reset the, the peg. I mean, it's not a far drive, right? Yeah, that'd be cool because I've never caught him. Uh, I used to be on Reddit and um, and there was someone saying that um, they had caught him here under the bridge, but uh, I've never caught him myself. Okay, maybe this is him. I don't think it's him. Is he what Marshall? What what kind of bass is he? Is he a spotted bass? Is he a smallmouth? Is he a largemouth? This is a nice one here on the line right now guys
Man, like, I would hate to lose a good fish like this. That'd be embarrassing, but it's not, it's, sometimes it happens with bass, man. They're so jittery. Nine pounds, nice. That is a good looking... Yeah, I know. <laughs> he did look like a football man. Oh, okay, you're saying that Marshall looks like a football. Okay. I thought you meant the one I, I had. Oh, we got a teensy one. It's a crappy. Yeah, I think it is. It might be. Yeah, there we go. So that's cool for... You can get crappy here and... You can get them with the with the rattle trap. I forgot I reset the peg, so I, th I thought I actually had the other booyah in lure, but I guess that it's all right. I don't mind. So Paolo, you got you got Marshall as well, eh? Okay, I see. He's got a big belly and a small head. <laughs> Poor Marshall, man. Oh, okay, right on. Well, it'd be cool if I get him now, man, just so people can see. All right, we'll go back to the booyah, and then I'll do what I said I was gonna do earlier, which is uh, maybe get some a top water lure just to see if uh, we can get a visual on them. Yeah, Gigantica is pretty good for that. Like the carp, I've caught a lot of carp bosses too. And have you caught fudgies yet? I have a good feeling about this one, man. He's gonna come out. You'll see. If not, this is another cool video that I definitely want to make. I'm 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 interested in Marshall Porthos. Porthos is really starting to piss me off cuz I really haven't seen anyone catch him on video anyway. Just uh your forum post there Musaka and I would just love to be able to have a video. Yeah, Fudgies is awesome, man. Okay, this is a big bass, man. This is a big one. 
This is a slow moving bass. I don't know that that's Marshall, but it's big. This is an interesting fish on the line. You think that's him? I can't even glance at the chat right now, man. I'm gonna, I can't lose this fish. Oh man, that's uh, worrisome that he's doing that. <laughs> well. Okay, here he comes. Wow, that's a big old bass, man. That is not Marshall, but that's a 15 pounder. Look at that, man, big belly. Wow, so Marshall's even bigger than that. Man, I really want to see this fish. This, man, actually, I'm telling you this. This Booyah One Knocker Rayburn just got a gigantic fish. 15 pounds. That's nice. That's real nice. She loves, so... And you're fishing in the exact same spot I am. Man, I'm loving this uh, this lure for bass. I, I never tried it before. But man, like the fact that it got that 15 pounder, that's a good sign. Yeah, he definitely is not missing meals, man. <laughs> He's probably eating all the crappy that are in here. What lure are you using, she love? Dyna did I pick dynamic weather? I think I did I? Yeah, you know what? Okay, what I'll do is I'm gonna exit out and uh, come back in uh, And just make sure that I do have dynamic weather on morning Wait, I'll wait you guys know that feeling when you pull out the line too early or cancel the thing and you get a bite don't want that happening. Whoa! Holy moly! Did you guys see that? Wow! That was crazy, man. I was about to cancel that line and I got a crazy smallmouth jumping. Oh, nice, Masako, man. What were you playing on before? Yeah, she love. I'm actually gonna exit out and uh, make sure I have dynamic weather on morning, and then uh, I'm gonna come back to the spot. Maybe he'll, the game will spawn him then, and then I probably have to go in a few minutes. But man, this guy caught him last minute. Nice looking, a smallmouth bass, six pounds.
All right. All right, so I'm just going to exit out and go back in, guys, just so I can... All right, guys. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my controller, but okay, there we go. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, you do need to, to register online for some of the mastery challenges. I actually, I haven't uh, bothered doing those yet. Really looking at them. All right, so we got dynamic weather morning. And we're going back to Polcat Hollow to look for Marshall. Yeah, no, I haven't looked at the mastery. I, I did make a quick to video where I talk about how it's like if you do register for the online then you can uh, get a bit of a faster boat when you're starting, which is always nice. I mean, I got this boat I'm on right now in one of the DLC packs, so. So that was nice, because this one goes 75 miles per hour. All right, so I'm actually gonna equip a top water lure. Actually, I'm gonna do a buzz bait. I love this lore. I've caught some big ones with this one, so. But I'm gonna just start with the one knocker. Hey, I, I think they just give you like clothing items and, and gear. I would have to exit the game entirely and, and log back in to look at it. Or maybe in the options you can look at it. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really bothered to look into it too much. Yeah, you might get something more than just clothing when, when you do a whole lake for sure. Which is kind of cool. That could be some cool content to do or to explore. But I've just been mostly focusing on trying to find some cool bass hotspots or predator hotspots or just trying to catch unique named trophy fish Let's see here. Nothing biting yet. What do I even have on? Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, I'm gonna actually get the top water lure out just to see if we get a visual on this guy. Yeah, I know, like, when, when I actually, when I log in, I see that I have some of them completed, but, um, but definitely not all of them. I haven't done a complete lake yet. Oh. Boom. Jumper. 
I'm telling you, man, these smallmouth bass, they, they are jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy fish. Oh, that's not even a, that's not even a smallmouth. That's a largemouth. Wow, I thought, I really thought it was a smallmouth. But all right. I did get a visual on a couple of fish there, but I almost want to get closer, actually. Oh, is that a trout? I think we got a trout, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna just... I'm just cranking this thing in. Just see if we get him quick. Nice. That's the kind of fish that I mostly fish for in real life, guys, right there. Rainbow trout. closer Wow, Musaka, that's awesome, man. That's one of the things I love about this game, actually, is the, the variety, like, even in between the same species. There's a lot of different looking fish. Oh, that's a good size fish. I don't think that's Marshall, though. Oh, you coming for it? No. Don't think that's Marshall. That's a spotted bass, I think. Alright, so we're still looking for Marshall. I just had to boot out of the lake and came back in, see if he spawns. And I'm just using a topwater lure just to see if I can get a visual on him. Oh, there's something big there, but I don't think that's him. Oh. There's a little guy there, but that's definitely not him. That's awesome, man. That's that's really interesting info there, Misaka, man. How do you how do you know that? Cuz that's pretty cool, man. Like that's that again, but like what I was saying earlier, that's one of the things I love about this game, just the variety of, of fish you pull out. There's that spotted bass that was going out. I think that's the one that was going for it earlier.
Alright, I'm gonna let him go. That's definitely not Marshall. I probably have to go soon, so... Let's go back to the red lures. Yeah, I noticed that actually sometimes the smaller ones actually put up a more jittery fight. Like they just uh, take your line out quick out of nowhere and you might end up losing them. Okay, that that's awesome, man. I never got to do a lot of bass fishing in real life, but... Ended up catching just a lot of rock bass in Ontario, but not really smallmouth or, or largemouth bass. I'm probably going to stop uh, probably in uh, 10 minutes, I would say. Just because I, I do have to go. I um, don't want to be in the doghouse, guys. <laughs> I meant to only do this for about an hour. Um, just wanted to do that online tournament at Jezioro, but some people were here hanging out, so I thought, why not keep it going? Uh, but yeah, but I have to go eat. I haven't eaten yet, so. I'm also in, in Newfoundland in Canada, which is, um, so it's 9 p.m. here. I... I'm not going live every day right now. I just started uh, live streaming, really, but I I do want to do it maybe three times a week if I can. I just gotta I just gotta see. I gotta gotta see like how my schedule is looking and everything. But um, but yeah, no, I definitely want to do more live streams more often. And I definitely want to do somewhere where we can all fish together. But I think probably the best thing would be to maybe make it like a weekly thing at the same time so that people can come out. But um, I just don't, I don't know exactly. I just gotta uh, look at the schedule. But but yeah, definitely when I get, I'm gonna make some videos this week. I'm hoping to get the DLC for Peru. So that, that was my goal this week to make some videos doing that. And then I really enjoyed doing the online tournaments Came in fourth place in just Yoro Bestie. That was kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Come on. What do we got here? Oh, that is... I don't know what that is. Oh, Chain Pickerel. Look at that. These are awesome fish. Yeah, I'm probably going to get that tomorrow, honestly. And then I might get the big lure pack. You think it's worth it? Anyone here have the big lure pack? Is it worth it to get that? I find I sometimes get overwhelmed with so much choice of lures. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's awesome to try them all out, but sometimes I just stick by the ones that are working for me and... Oh, you got all the DLC on, on PS, PS4. Cool. Which ones are your favorite? Oh yeah, I heard about the pixelated fish. Yeah, so I might pick up the the Peru DLC and the and the big lore pack. I'm thinking. Then other other than that, I think I have Lake Dylan, but I, I got the Quad Lake pack. All right, here we go. Come on. No, that is another gar. I'm gonna let him go just cause uh, running short on time. So.
Wow, six bucks. That's a good deal, man. That was a good deal, Paolo. I definitely got mine 50% off. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it last year. But both the games, pretty good deal. Yeah, I might I might check out the catch. See, see, do you guys think that the catch is worth it? Yeah, Thailand, I've played in the online tournaments, but uh, yeah, actually, I'm gonna look into getting the Peru and the Thailand. Gotta see, gotta see if I get both of those. But what do you guys think? You, you guys think the catch is worth it? Oh no, damn it. That better not be him. Yeah, this is not a good sign that He's testing the line so much. I hope this isn't him because uh, I was looking at the chat and not paying attention. <laughs> I got a poor strike, man. Whatever it is, it's taking the line. So I'm afraid that it's him and I got him on a poor strike. That sucks. I'm gonna try not to lose him. I think this may, might be him. I'm just gonna be super... Super careful because I got a poor strike and I don't want to lose him. Is that him, you think? He looks big, but I, I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't caught him before. I don't know what he looks like, but... I don't think that's him. Is that him? He took the line out crazy far, but... I just don't want to test him too much because of that poor strike. Okay, I'm happy if that wasn't him, cause man, <laughs> I just lost him. I don't think that was him though, that was a big one though. Let's just see. I'm gonna do a, gonna do a couple more casts, and then I think I'm gonna call it a night, guys. But uh, we'll try a few more casts. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, that was definitely a big, a big. He was, he was definitely. He took out the line quite like 55 yards, 60 yards. Man, this lore. I'm telling you, this lore. Is uh caught a 15 pounder with it. Nice fish. Alright, we'll try the rattle trap for a couple of casts, then I'll go back to that one I had.
let's see here. Alright, we got something. It's a decent size. Probably not him though. Yeah, I actually I love milk money. It's one of my favorite lures, guys. That's that's a good lure. It's a nice looking one. Seven pounds. Yeah, that's where I caught that other bridge is where I caught my my 16 pound bass. Same here, man. Yeah, she love. I just saw your message there, dude. I'm so unlucky. I also have not been able to get Marshall yet, but it's in the bucket list along with Porthos. I try to make uh, videos about them, but also oh, we got a catfish. There you go. Rattle trap catfish. I'll bring him in just to take a look at him. There you go. Nice little catfish, twelve pounder. Alright, we'll go back to this one. You got 11? What's the biggest one you caught? <coughs> oh, 11 pound, okay. Yeah, it's a good size, man. That That's definitely a good size. Yeah, Lake Jordan, man. I, that's that's a good one. I, I caught Opry there, I think, is his name. I, th I made a video on it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try uh, stop and stop and go. <coughs> Ooh. All right, guys. Awesome. Oh yeah, Oprah's Lake Lake Nelson. That's right. All right, guys. Well, with that, I think uh, that's a long time to be fishing, but I really appreciate everyone that came out. And uh, you guys are awesome. We'll see you on the next live stream.